in Salem, a simple case of strep throat turned into a much more serious battle. Eric Johnson has the story of a young athlete's fight to get back on the field. The bad times make the good times seem so much better. Those words couldn't be any truer for Cameron Clawson. The oldest of four children, he's just like any other young boy you'd meet, full of energy and loves sports. I haven't missed like a sports season since I was like three or so. But that recently changed due to heartbreaking news his family received at a doctor's visit just a week before his 10th birthday. He asked if they could do a routine, a full blood panel test, and we agreed. And that's where we got the upsetting news that he had leukemia. Getting that phone call, oof, man alive. I mean, the, 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 last, the last news you ever expected and certainly the last news you ever, you ever wanted to, uh, to, to hear. While most would shrink back in fear, 10-year-old Cameron has been a pillar of positivity through it all. When I like get like a needle put into my like have blood work or something like that, like I try my best like not to flinch and stuff like that, so like they know like I'm like trying to like my best to, like be strong. The community support has been endless for Cameron since his diagnosis just over two weeks ago. And that continued Thursday night at the Salem Red Sox game. Number, we did number 19 for 2019, all right? Yes. With a personalized Salem jersey, Cameron took to the mound and threw out the game's first pitch. <laughs> Gary Abbott, Cameron's football coach, has even sold Team Cam wristbands to raise money for medical treatments. Just a really good kid, good athlete, and uh, yeah, he's a lot stronger than I could be if I was in this situation, and I think he's making everybody around him stronger. Though chemotherapy treatment and other tests lie ahead for the 10-year-old Cameron, his remarkable spirit and positive attitude will help guide him back to a path of winning on the court, on the field, and more importantly, in life. And we have faith that he's going to um, beat this thing, and he'll, he'll get off the sideline in no time and be back in the game. In Salem. Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.